Hi, I'm Christy Chadwick. And I'm Kelly Jo Woodside, and we're consultants at the Massachusetts Library System, which is a state-level uh, library consortium here in Massachusetts that provides many services to libraries of all types, including professional development. Part of our job as consultants means that our continuing education needs to be not only timely and accessible, but we need to create ways for libraries to connect to each other across the state and to connect their experiences so they understand that they're not alone. One of our most popular classes is our basic library techniques workshops. They are state mandated classes for public library directors without MLS degrees, so they can have state certification required for all of our directors. It is four courses covering practical training and library operation topics. Because the original classes were two days of in-person lecture, these four courses were each offered only about once every two years, so it could take several years before someone completed their requirements. Also, we found we had an overwhelming demand as these foundational classes were being taken by other library staff members who were looking to build their skill set or use them towards other continuing education. So, we had spread out classes, lots of staff being shut out due to the demand across the state, and administrative and experiential issues with rotating speakers uneven quality of education and access, and with the lecture information dump, no real practical application or reflection. There needed to be a change. So we had two main instructional design challenges for this project. First, to broaden the relevance of the course to learners from different backgrounds and with different levels of library experience. And second, to deepen the learning by creating opportunities for real world application. We definitely wanted to take advantage of new technology, but we also knew that an online-only model wouldn't allow us to produce the level of engagement and connection that we were looking for. So we landed on blended learning, which is an approach that's been employed widely in K-12 and college educational settings, but uh, doesn't seem to have been explored as much in professional development like what we do. However, the ability to flip our PD classroom turned out to be just what we were looking for. Participants would first have several weeks to work through the topics and materials themselves in an asynchronous online course, and then later join us and their classmates for a shorter but more meaningful in-person class with a focus on reflection and discussion. My role was to serve as instructional designer with Christy as our subject matter expert. Together we created Coolborough, a representative public library that would host our virtual training scenarios for all four courses. In each module, participants in the workshop learn along with a different member of the Coolborough staff. The online component includes four key instructional design features. First, we have scenarios where learners can explore different actions and consequences. This allows all participants to experience the content from a first-hand perspective, no matter what their actual role is back in their library. Second, we have interactions where learners have a chance to apply what they've learned immediately within the course. Third, we have reflections where participants can share their experience with peers and give each other feedback. This helped us start to create a sense of community right within the asynchronous online course. And finally, we have assignments. And these are the activities that connect the online course to the in-person sessions by asking the participant to apply what they've learned back at their own library and then bring it to class for discussion. They also encourage learners to engage with other library staff and develop professional connections on a new level. So what did we end up with? We now have courses that are updated, allowing more people to take them, in fact, twice as many participants as we used to have, and they're expanded without actually increasing resources. In fact, we have actually saved them over the long run by having fewer speakers, having only one day of in-person sessions, and this has really created a more sustainable class experience for everyone. The program is broader and deeper in both context and content, with a better transfer of learning and a more holistic experience in library work overall. So, would you like to visit Coolborough with us and learn more about how you can broaden and deepen your professional development program? Please, Please vote, vote for, for us in, in the, the panel picker. picker.